Glory, hallelujah. It's another beautiful, blessed day today to always be in the presence of the Lord. It's always a blessing for you to continue to put your faith and your trust in Him. It's always a blessing for you to get on your knees and continue to pray. Even though you haven't seen anything yet, but continue to pray, continue to put your faith and trust in Him. But most of all, most of all, you need to give Him the thanks and you need to give Him the praise. Praise should always be necessary, even though you might not feel like it, even though that you might be hurting right now, even though that you might be going through something right now, even though your season hasn't came yet, but you still need to praise him anyway, even if you don't have a dime to your name, still praise him. I know every day ain't going to be a good day, my brothers and my sisters, but praising Jesus will always be a good day for every last one of us, especially for what he has done for every last one of us. So no matter what you're going through, no matter what you're facing in life right now today, you should always give Jesus the thanks, praise, and glory. Because I tell you what, my brothers and my sisters, I'm still going through something. I'm still facing something. In the midst of all that, I've been praying, I've been praying, and my prayers haven't came yet. But I believe and I trust in Jesus. But the most of all about me, I'm going to give him the thanks. I'm going to give him the praise. No matter what, how bad my situation might look right now. No matter how bad my dog my tunnel might seem right now, no matter how difficult my storm might be still over my head, but I'm going to give Jesus the thanks, I'm going to give him the praise, and I'm going to give him the glory, and the reason why I'm, gonna do, reason why I'm doing that, because I'm in love with him, and I trust him with all my mind, heart, and soul each and every day, and that's why I praise him the way I do, because no one, no one comes before my Father God, not my wife, not my children, or not my job. Jesus is number one in my life. Not because I'm going through something. Not because I want something. I do it because I love him and I trust him and I put my faith and my trust in him. I think about for everything what he has done in my life. I think about where I was a month ago, a year ago, when I didn't have nobody else. Jesus was always there for me. He was always there for me. Even when so-called friends and family members turned their back against me, Jesus never did. Even when I turned my back on him so many times, he never turned his back against me. That's why I thank him the way I do. That's why I praise him the way I do. And that's why I glorify and lift his name up high the way that I do. He's my everything. He should be your everything. Praise should always be on your lips. Praise should always be in your spirit. Amen. 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 In today's text, it's coming from Isaiah 43, and we're going to read verses 18 through 19. That's Isaiah 43, 18 through 19. And today's lesson is, you determine you. Once you determine who you are, and you quit dwelling on the past and the former things who you used to be and what you used to do, then what Jesus is going to do a new thing in you. That's what Jesus want to do for his sons right now. That's what Jesus really want to do for his daughters right now. But you got to determine who you are. You got to quit dwelling on the past and the former things. And once you get that out of your mind and, and, and renew your mind, have a new mindset and determine who you are and where you're going, what you want out of life, Jesus wants to do a new thing in you. Amen. Amen. And before I get started, I always like to take the time out to get by him to Father God. All the thanks, all the praise, and all the glory. Oh, Heavenly Father God, I can't thank you enough for an awesome and beautiful, blessed day today. I can't thank you enough for another day at life today that you put life inside our body today, that you put air inside our lungs today, that you bless us with our strength today and our health today. I just can't thank you enough for everything that you have done. I just can't thank you enough for everything that you're doing. I just can't thank you enough that we was able to open our eyes up and see today, to smell the fresh air today. I just can't thank you enough that I was able to let you know that I can't thank you enough, that I was able to get on my knees today to pray to you, that I was able to open up the Bible today and hear a word of God today. I just can't thank you enough for this message today because I determine who I am and long I know I know who I am. You tell you telling me right now in the word of God that you want to do a new thing in me. And I just can't thank you enough for that, Jesus. I just can't thank you enough for your grace. 
I just can't thank enough for your mercy. I just can't thank enough for your love. I just can't thank enough for the blessings that you have my name on and your son's name on and your daughter's name on. I just can't thank enough for how you making the way for us. I just can't thank enough for the gift that you endowed to every last one of your children. I just can't thank enough for the food that you put on our table. I just can't thank enough for the clothes and shoes that you put on our back. I just can't thank you enough, Jesus. I just can't thank you enough. Because we don't have anything else. I have you. When I don't have anything else, I have you. And I just can't thank you enough because as long as I got my faith and my trust in you, you say you'll never fail me. You'll never let me down. And you'll never disappoint me. For that reason right there, hey, glory, hallelujah. I can't thank you enough. As long as I have my faith and my trust in you, you telling me and you telling all your sons, your daughters right now that you never leave us or you never fail us. Glory, hallelujah. I can't thank you enough just for that. And that's why I'm always going to continue to praise you, to glorify you, seek you, and put my faith and trust in you because I can't thank you enough. In Jesus' holy name, amen, amen. Now, my brothers and sisters, we're about to get into this word. And I would love for y'all to turn your Bibles to Isaiah 43. And we're going to read verses 18 through 19. And if you have your Bibles open, and ready to receive it. Shout out, amen. Amen, let's begin. 18. Forget the former things. Do not dwell on the past. See, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? I'm making a way in the desert and streams in the wastelands. See, my brothers, my sisters, Jesus want to do a new thing in you. But you have to determine who you are first for for order Jesus to do a new thing in you you got to stop dwelling on the past you got to forget the former things in your former life in your former when you was making a lot of mistakes and once you get that mindset and say you know what I determined me I determined where my life was going I determined where my relationship going with Jesus I determined how my marriage going I determined where my career going and it starts from you you have to determine who you are. It starts right there in your mind. What you put in your mind and your mind triggered down to your spirit, you determine you. And when Jesus knows that, that you have forgot about the former things, that you forgot about the past, then when Jesus is going to do a new thing in you. And I don't know who I'm talking to today, but this message today is clearly from my brothers and my sisters today. My brothers, my sisters, the only person can determine you is you. I know some of y'all probably seen some of y'all friends continue to do the same thing. And some of y'all can feel like that y'all going to do the same thing they do. But you got to determine, say, you know what? I'm not going to be like my friends. Yeah, I hung with them. Yes, I parted with them. Yes, I had a past with them. But that's not who I am. I know I'm better than that. I know I'm bigger than that. And once you forget that, what you did with your former friends and what you did in your former past, and see, you know what? Today is a new day. Today, I'm going to determine who I am as a man. Today is a day I'm going to determine who I am as a woman. And once you determine that, and once you determine who you are, Jesus is going to do a new thing in you. Let the same thing go for your family members. I know some of y'all probably have some family members say, you know what? My family didn't make it to the next level. I don't have nobody in my family that's successful. I don't have nobody in my family who didn't go out their dreams. That's when you got to say, you know what? I'm determined me. I'm not going to be like my family members. Because nobody in my family be became successful doesn't mean I'm not going to come to uh, come successful. You got to determine who you are. You got to say, you know what? Jesus made all us different. He blessed every last one of us with a gift. So I'm going to be the one who's going to use my gift. And once you determine that you're going to use your gift, not the, not for, you're going to forget the former things and the things that happened in your family life, and you're going to determine who you are, for who you are, Jesus is going to do a new thing in you. Same thing in your marriage. Every marriage will have its ups and its downs. Every marriage going to be rocky. But you determine how long and how far your marriage is going to go. You're going to have to put in the work. You might say, yeah, my friend marriage might didn't work. Yeah, my mother and father marriage might didn't work. Or my uncles or my grandparents, whoever situation may be. But you got to determine who you are. So you know what? Maybe their situation, didn't, they marriage didn't work because they didn't determine who they was. They didn't put in the work. They just let their marriage go still. You have to determine who you are. And forget 
what happened in somebody else's marriage and forget what happened in the past. And see, you know what? That happened in our former days. That happened when we was young. That happened four or five years ago. Once you forget about the former things and you forget about the past, Jesus is going to do a new thing in you. And I'm going to tell you why. My brothers and my sisters, once I forgot who I was 10 years ago, I said, you know what? Yeah, I sold drugs to my family and friends. Yeah, I smoked a lot of marijuana. Yes, I even I used to drink alcohol. Yes, I used to go to the club. And when I look back at that, I say, you know what? What did that lead me to? What did I get out of that? I didn't get anything out of that. It didn't lead me nowhere. It didn't take me nowhere. And once I got out of that situation, I forgot that old person and I became a new creation in Christ. Jesus started doing a new thing in me. And the reason why he started doing a new, a new thing in me because I forgot about the former things. I forgot about the past. Once I forgot about the former things and I forgot about the past, Jesus started doing a new thing in me. And what Jesus started doing to me, he showed me a gift. A gift that I never knew that it was inside of me. I never knew that I was going to be ministering the word of God. I didn't know that Jesus chose me to preach his gospel. Even though he don't need my help, but he still chose me anyway. He handpicked me. That would never happen if I was still holding on to my former things. This right here would never happen if I was still holding on to the past. But once I forgot the former things, hey, I'm preaching to somebody right now. Once I forgot the former things, once I forgot the past, Jesus started doing a new thing to me. And now I'm perceiving it. Now I'm seeing it grow. Now I see that he has his hands on me. Now I see that he has anointed me. And now I see that he gave me a chance each and every day to preach the word of God. That's how I knew I determined who I was. Yes, nobody in my family has ever came successful or ever used their gift. I did. Because I saw how my family was. I said, that's not me. I determined who Minister LT was. Not my family. I determined who I was. Not my wife. I determined who I was. Not my children. I determined who I was. Not my brothers and my sisters. I determined who I was. Not my so-called friends. And once I determined who I was, Jesus started doing a new thing in me. And that's what Jesus is telling somebody right now today. You determine you. Forget about, forget about the former things. Forget about the past. Clear your mind. Have a new mindset. Once you got a new mindset, your spirit is going to open up to bigger and new things. That's all Jesus is telling, saying right now. He wants you to forget about the past. Forget about the former things, who you used to be. Because who you used to be is not who you is right now. Who you used to be is not who you are right now. Amen? Amen. And that's all what Jesus is saying. If you want Jesus to do a new thing in your life, and you want and you want to see it to perceive it, you want to see it to spring up, you going to have to determine who you are. Are you going to continue to be like your friends who you're hanging around with? Are you going to continue to be like your family members who saying, oh, we family, blood, nobody in our family will never make it. We family, nobody going to ever make it to the top. You got to determine who you are. Forget about that. Forget about the past. And once you forget and you don't work, don't work, um, remember the past anymore, Jesus is going to do a new thing in you. But you have to determine who you are. And I just preached to y'all how I forgot about my past and my former things. And once I got a new mindset and started realizing what Jesus wanted to do for me, and when he showed it to me, like I said, if you'd have asked me this 10 years ago why I'd be a pastor, I would have said no. And the reason why I would have said no because I was still hanging out with my former friends. I was still holding on to the past. My mindset was still thinking about the former things. My mindset was still thinking about the past. And one thing about determining who LT was. Because so LT, LT didn't know who LT was at that time. Understanding me now. But once I forgot and I let go of the former things in the past, and I became I became LT, and I determined who I was going to be. I determined, made my mind up, said, you know what? I'm going to do something different that never happened in my family. I'm going to shock the world. And Jesus, I'm going to do a new thing in you. 
I said, I believe you, Jesus. I trust you, Jesus. And that's what he's saying right here in this word right here. Forget the former things. He said, do not dwell on it anymore. See, I'm doing a new thing. See, he want to do something new in your life. He want to do something new that you never thought was going to be you. That's my whole point of this message. See, Jesus did a new thing of me. I never thought I was going to be a preacher. I never thought that I was going to be a preacher. And that's what Jesus is saying. He want to do something new in your life. But you got to determine you. Once you determine you and forget about the, the former thing and forget about the past, he's promising you today, my sisters. He's promising you today right now, my brothers, that he's going to do a new thing in you. You determine you. You determine you. And once you do that, the word of God, don't take my word for it. It's right here. Isaiah 43. Start from 19, he says, See, I am doing a new thing. Now, it springs up. Do you not perceive it? See, he want to do something new. He wanted to spring up. But first of all, you got to go to 18. Forget the former things, who you used to be. Do not dwell on the past of what you used to do, of what you have seen, what you witnessed of. Focus on 19. See, I want to do a new thing. That's what Jesus is saying. He want to do something new. He did something new for me. We're looking at a witness right now. He did something new for Minister LT. Once LT forgot the former things, not quit dwelling on the past, because I determined who I was and where I was going. I determined my marriage will get better. It's going to get stronger. It's going to last. I determined this ministry because this is the ministry that Jesus let me. And long as he gave me breath, and he gave me life. And he gave me strength. That he still know me. That he still have his hands on me. I'm going to preach the word of God. Only if there's one person listening. See, he's doing a new thing in me. And it's still growing. That's why I perceive it. I see it. I determine who I am. Because Jesus determined who he wanted me to be. He created every last one of us to do better. And have better in the life. To have an abundance life. That's why you going to have to determine who you are. And I don't know who I'm talking to today. But this message today is clearly for someone today. And if this message is for you today, my brothers, my sisters, give him thanks right now. Give him the praise right now. And give him the glory right now. In Jesus' mighty holy name. Amen. Before I close, I always like to end with a prayer. Can you please pray with me? Lord Jesus, I ask of you to come into our life, to guide us, direct us, use us, so we can continue to build a relationship with you. And I believe right now in the mighty name of Jesus, by us praying that simple little prayer, that we already know that you're working everything out in our life right now, Jesus. And if you ever want to get in contact with me, or leave me a comment. My YouTube channel is Withers. Dot LT. My brothers, my sisters, you determine you. Stay blessed. This minister LT. I love y'all in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.